do, 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 do. I mean, there's nothing here right now. Okay. I don't know how long the delay is. Like, is it running? It. Yeah, I did. St I started it. So I wanted to see, make sure like it actually <clears throat> showed up if it works or not. Actually, now that I'm not using my phone, I can test it on my phone too, I guess. Mm -hmm. Manage your it channel. You just told me you started something. Directly so. from your phone. Oh, that's cool. So, oh, that's new. Or, well, I mean, I didn't know it did that. So, because I have, like, it's the same account that's on my phone. Yeah. Like, it tells me, oh, you can manage your stream from your phone. In case anybody wants to see what I'm talking about. Mm hmm. So it actually shows me the live stream. It's a huge delay happening right here. Huh? It's delayed. That's on my phone? Yeah. Like it tells me, oh, you can manage your stream <laughs> from your phone. In case anybody wants to see what I'm talking about. <laughs> so it actually Inception. shows me the live stream. It is Inception. Look at that. <laughs> 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 it's delayed. That's on my phone? It's, yeah. Like it tells Mine's me, oh, you can shit. manage your stream from your phone. <laughs> <laughs> in case anybody <laughs> <laughs> wants to see what I'm talking about. How many so layers of Inception can you get? Yeah, I'm gonna stop this because it's recording the recording the recording the recording. I'm gonna get like some crazy feedback all of a sudden. Yeah. You just like created your own noise. Yeah, I'm gonna stop this because it's recording the recording the recording the recording. I'm gonna get some crazy feedback all of a sudden. Okay. Oh, also yours is on the speaker. Yours, that's why you can't hear it. It's playing on the speaker because you're connected right. to the Bluetooth. Derp, let me turn that off. <clears throat> <laughs> but anyway, so what I was saying is, it, so it says like, do you want to manage your stream? So if you click on it, it pulls up this little dashboard thing where I can see the chat and everything like separate from the screen. It it's not working keeps, for no, you? No, it just keeps loading. Maybe I'm you should gonna, I'm gonna disconnect. cancel and come back in because I mean it's pulling up on my phone which I didn't have it open until I clicked on that so <clears throat> oh it says it says there's three people is it's that what that says ah it says there's three people I, I got nothing but it's not you none of them are you one of them might be me, but this is this is where I'm at right now. I mean, I, I logged know. out, so it's just I, spinning. Hmm, that's weird. Now it says four since you clicked on it, so it went up one. I mean, like the. Hmm. I mean, it's fine. We're gonna re we're recording this anyway, so actually, that was the thing I wanted to check real quick is to make sure that this is actually recording locally also. So we have a good, yes, okay, it is, it is going. Okay, well, so we can go. It says body. I mean, I can. This is crooked, it's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, there we go. Cool. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> so today we are continuing our series on adding depth to your props and armor and things uh, when you're doing weathering. So today we're going to talk about how we do like paint chipping when you want to get some realistic depth. Uh, but first I'm going to show you a way that is pretty common that a lot of people do. This is just a piece of floor mat that I painted red. Um, the really common like after the fact paint chipping way, which works perfectly fine. I've, we've done it on some of our armor and stuff is you, know, you get some metallic paint and you know you kind of just do this edge. Is it still not loading for you? Mm -mm. Weird. It's bothering It's bothering me. You, know, you can get some scratches, stuff like that. You do some dry brushing kind of stuff. Um, and for a lot of things, that's the level of 
you know, chipping and scratching and stuff you do. Just like with any weathering and stuff like I was talking about last time, though, like doing variations of different metals and doing it in layers will, you know, add to the realistic realism, the realisticness. <laughs> hello again, Avatar Props. Oh, hello! Welcome back. Um, but yeah, so, you know... That, that's that's kind of the standard for paint chipping stuff is is doing this stuff kind of over top of your paint which is a fine way to do it uh it looks i mean especially from you know if you're going for the 10 foot rule um that looks like the paint's chipped off right no problem looks good it's good and you can see i did that in like five seconds and it's good to go um but i'm gonna talk about some other methods that I like to use that add depth and take it kind of to the next level. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you're going to do this method is you're going to prep your surface. And again, I'm just using a bunch of pieces of floor, floor, floorboards, floor mats. Um, we are doing well, uh, as well as well as can be expected. We just found out today that schools are closed to the end of the year. So you know, they're never going back. They're never going back. Um, so you want to prep your surface, uh, whatever it is, foam, if it's like a more rigid thing like a thermoplastic, 3D print, whatever. Prep it, and then you're going to do your base coat of metallic paint as the base layer. So there it is. So that, that you want to think of what kind of metal your thing is, your proper helmet or whatever is made out of. So I just did some silver paint over a piece of foam. Um, and then what you're, what I like to use is you can just get this art masking fluid. Um, it's available on Amazon or at most art stores. Uh, this one is for, for watercolor, for masking stuff. And it's basically liquid latex. Um, oh, see, all gooey and gummy. Yum. Uh, and I like to use these little micro brushes for this because they're they're throwaway um, and this stuff will gum up your brush pretty good and, and kind of kill it. So what you do is you take this and you put it over the silver where you want chips to be later on in the process. So a lot of stuff in the corners. Let's see if angled a little bit, see it better. Um, so I'll do a lot of stuff in the corners, along the edges. Again, you can do like some scratch marks if you want. You can do like little chips from like buckshot or something. Little things along the edges in the corners, etc. Um, you know, you got you want to kind of think about it ahead of time because you're gonna do this let this dry and then go to the next step. And at this point, whatever you do now is, is what's going to be your final result at the very end of the process. Um, so this is, this is a real easy way to do it. Um, some people will use other stuff like I've heard, and I've never tried any of these, but I know a lot of people have had success. People have used mustard, toothpaste, um, some weird stuff, but if it works, it works. Uh, another technique, and this, the nice thing about using like the liquid latex is you can use it whether you're airbrushing or like hand brushing stuff. Another technique that works um, mostly with airbrushing, but you can do it with hand brushing and our final result, I did a little bit of both so we can see how it turns out. Um, it's called paint chipping and it does give you a little bit different result. Uh, I just have some water and a paintbrush. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side that I did on that side. So I'm going to hit the corners here with a little bit of water. Water? Why water? What the heck am I doing? Put some Why water, here. water, Will? What is water going to do for anything? <laughs> well, after I put the water on there, I'm going to take some salt. Yep, just some salt. Um, salt? You can do... You want something that's kind of coarse-ish. Ish is... And you're just going to sprinkle it on here. And it should stick to wherever you put the water. If you want, you can go back and just drop a little bit of water on that salt. And it'll help kind of stick it on there. And then you can 
so you can kind of see, I hope. There we go. You can see here, here where the salt stuck to the water, even after I tapped off the extra. And so that's salt chipping, and you'll see what the result of that looks like later too, along with the latex. So that's step one. And you can use a hair dryer to help it dry faster, or you can just let it wait and sit. Once it dries, it'll be, if you're using this masking fluid, it'll just be kind of a, it'll still be a little shiny, but it will be a dull tan color. So we're going to set that aside. We're going to do this cooking show style. So I'm going to have the next step already ready so you don't have to wait for it to dry. While we're here, I'm going to get rid of that salt. Let's do that. Bye-bye salt. Making a mess. So, um, the, oh, the other, another thing you can use, and I did do a test of this on the very final thing, so we'll get to see the difference if there is one. Uh, if you are have any experience or are familiar with Creature Cast, you could use that in, is, in, instead of latex, especially if you have a latex allergy. So Creature Cast is a good option as well. Doo, doo, doo. Creature Cast rubber. It is a neoprene rubber, and this particular one that we have is the semi-rigid off-white. So it looks a lot like the liquid latex, uh, the off-white. It's a little bit whiter than that, but it looks very much the same. But you can use this to coat all kinds of stuff. Um, oh yeah, short, small tangent. This is the helmet that I talked about last time that I'm making for my son. Um, I put a coat, this is just with one coat of the creature cast on it. Come on, focus, focus camera. There we go, sort of. Um, I just brushed it on with a foam brush. The nice thing about Creature Cast, if you've never used it, uh, compared to like um, Plastidip or something, is that you can actually sand it and make it smooth pretty nicely. Um, so you can do a coat, sand a little bit, do more coats. You can also tint it with acrylic paints and stuff. This I just did it as a base layer because I'm actually going to test airbrushing uh, plaid effects on this later. But, um, so I did that as just a base coat, but Creature Cast is great because it's non-toxic, cleans up easily with water, it dries quick, you can heat, you can speed up the process with just a hair dryer because it just dries via evaporation. Um, but it gives you a nice coat that can be sanded and everything, and it's really good stuff. You can airbrush it um, after you tint it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool stuff. We really like it. Um, we've been using it a little bit. Um, I'm also gonna use it, you can also put it over fabric uh, so I'm going to use it when I make our Ahsoka Montrails um, because uh, we're going to make them out of fabric, stuff them, and then coat them with the Creature Cast. So it has that silicone latex feel and mobility to it, but it will be uh, made out of fabric and Creature Cast. So it's totally, well, I wouldn't say totally hypoallergenic, but compared to like latex ones, it will be a lot less uh, prone to causing allergic reactions in people. Um, okay, so that's drying. We're gonna pretend I pulled out, pulled it out of the oven now. Um, so the next step is, <laughs> I wasn't supposed to leave my sticky note on there. So the next step um, is after it dries, you're going to wanna put your first coat of paint. So you can kinda see where the latex was before I painted it. Um, what I like to do, you can do more layers in this, but for this, I'm just gonna do two layers. So what I like to do is get two colors, uh, and you can get two colors or you can mix your paints, but two of the same color, but that are slightly different in tone um, or vibrance, just so that they look a little off. So I got these two different reds. One's just a cheap um, dollar store acrylic paint set that we got for the kids, but it's this is red. And this is um, Blick Deep Red or Red, red Deep. Mm, I don't like that. It should be deep red. But anyway. Um, so you can see they're both reds, but they're slightly different colors. And the reason for that is because... Um, and, and if you want it, you can even go, depending on the look you're going for, you can go with totally different colors. I've done, like, hunter green with, like, a bright blue. And the idea is to think of um, whatever your piece is, like if this was a piece of armor... It was painted originally the factory color, and then somebody painted it, you know, touched up the paint and paint another color over top of it. Uh, and, you know, what are the chances that the paint color the second time is going to be exactly the same, even if you're trying to match it? So that's why I like to do, like, two of a similar color. But you can also be like, you know, they repainted this a totally different color. And then when you get your chips and scratches, what you'll see is you get to see kind of a little bit of the different layers 
um, and that's where you get the depth. So the next step, um, after you have done one layer of the latex or whatever your masking material is, paint it, let it dry, and then you're going to take and do another layer of this. And so the trick here is that what you want to do <clears throat> is you want to go on the same spots that you did before and don't match it exactly, just kind of go a little messy near what you're doing. Um, and so what that's going to do is it's going to make your edges when we take the masking material off later after your other coat or coats of paint. And you're going to want to do this between each coat of paint. Um, it'll make it so that the edges where the paint is gone and the bare metal underneath shows through doesn't quite line up. And so you get, you get layers of paint. So you, because, you know, if you get a chip in your paint, um, it's going to go through, usually it'll go through all the layers of paint. Uh, if you don't want it to go through all the layers of paint, you can actually add a spot like, Right here, there isn't any latex, so I'm just going to add a couple little things here because then when that comes off later, it'll actually just be the two tones of red and none of the bare metal underneath. But here's a spot. So, you know, you just go around and do that on any of those spots that you want to have that little added depth. Now, I'd say don't do all of them or maybe just do a little tiny bit on some of them versus completely covering them. Um, and, you know... Be random about it. So again, now we're going to wait. So I'm gonna set that aside to dry and then, okay, it's dry. And <clears throat> so here we go. This is one layer of latex, one layer of paint, and then a second layer of latex. And this is um, all dried on there. So I'm going to take my second color of red. Ooh, I hate those goobers on there. Squirt some of that out. I'm going to use my big brush for this. Speed things along. And you can see, now you can really see the difference in the reds. Um, but so I'm just going to go over top of this whole thing. You can really see where the latex is too, which is nice. And I'm just doing a quick brushed single coat on this. But again, you could do this with airbrush. You could do it with hand brushing. It'll work either way, um, pretty much the same. You know, whatever, however true to color you want that to be. And there you go. So now you're painted and you have two layers of paint, two different shades, um, and you're going to let that dry. Or actually, you don't even need to let it dry. It depends on how messy you want to get, but you don't have to let it dry. You could do it while it's still wet, but this is the final piece. Uh, this one's all dry. So what I have here is um, all of the spots on about this third were done with the masking fluid. All of the spots on the middle third were done with creature cast, and you can see once they're painted over, you pretty much can't even tell them apart on this. And then over here, you can see that I have some of the salt chipping on that third. So what we're going to do is take... Uh-oh. I need... An exacto works pretty well. Or if you have like some of those um, fine point tweezers, that's also another good option for this. But what we're gonna do is just gonna go in here. Because sometimes, depending on the material, you can do it with just like your finger. I don't know how it'll work on the phone. I'm just not liking my finger. So I'm gonna try with the X-Acto blade. But what you're trying to do is get in here. Come on. This does work better with the hard surface because you. The foam is like moving away from it, and I'm trying to not stab through to the foam. There we go. I'm getting it. Ah, there we go. So, let's see how well you can actually see this on camera. 
Maybe not very well at all. Well, that's a bummer. Let's see if I get closer. I wonder what the minimum focal distance on this thing is. It's definitely not. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. You got it. You got it. You can do it. Look, focus on this. It's the biggest thing on the screen. If I get closer, will you listen? Maybe? So you can... Oh, come on now. Come on, camera. You got this. I think it's the text on this mat in the background that is trying to focus on. So we're going to do that. Now, will you focus? Oh, that, that maybe helped. Uh, it is not. There we go. That actually works. Oh, come on. Just, oh, is it the brushes? Anything in the background it would rather focus on than what's right in front of it. It like focuses and then goes away. Just stay there. It would be really nice if you could use this cam tell this camera to keep its focus. Um, I'm gonna just keep taking this stuff off for the time being. And then maybe when it's all done, I'll hold it up. But you just want to, anyway, you want to keep doing that same thing and just go around to all of the places that you have this stuff and peel it off. And the edges are going to look a little bit rough. And that's good because that's what you want. Oh, see, I knew I was going to do that. I stabbed the foam and peeled part of it off. <laughs> um, Another thing to uh, keep in mind is that this also works better on a glossier surface. So, you know, I just did a quick coat of silver paint on this foam. I probably should have spent more time making it a higher gloss surface before I did the latex. It is kind of fun and satisfying to peel this stuff off, though. Oh my gosh, stop getting all blurry. You can see it's coming off of the second layer of paint pretty easily, but then the layer underneath it, not so much. I think you can see that, maybe you can't. You can clean up the jaggedy edges if you want, or you can just leave them jaggedy. Okay, let's see if it'll do. Come on, come on, come on. Stay there, stay there. Hold! Oh, for crying out loud. What if I put everything else off camera? Except for this. Will you focus? There's literally, literally nothing else for you to focus on. Even my fingers are disappearing. I'm going to get right up in your face, camera. Now it's probably too close. All right, I'll back off a little bit. Oh, more social distancing camera. Right? Man, I don't know why it doesn't want to focus on this. It's really frustrating and annoying. I'll take some better pictures of this after the fact, but... Right there. Look right there. Look right there. So you can see the two colors there. Maybe over here if it'll refocus again. Come on, come on, right here. Boop. Yeah. Man.
Maybe it isn't like this color of our <laughs> paper that's down. Um, I'm just going to keep taking this stuff off. I'm not going to bother with the exacto knife anymore. I'm going to put that off camera too. You can get nothing of interest on the screen other than this. I was talking to the camera. Peel on that one for a second. Funny, even though the camera won't focus on this close up, I can actually see where the latex is better looking at what the camera is seeing than what I can see with my own eyes, which is bizarre, but also cool. So it's interesting too, what I'm noticing is that the creature cast does not want to peel off as well as the latex does. And I think that's because the surface wasn't very shiny. So I would say the latex is still kind of sticking to it because I didn't coat the foam very well, but the creature cast is sticking even more so. So if you're gonna do it with creature cast, I'd say you probably wanna make sure it's pretty dang, or at least like a gloss surface it doesn't necessarily need to be without imperfection, but just gloss versus a uh, matte or even textured finish as this was since it was just on foam. Um, then you can kind of just smooth out the, the edges so you don't have like actual paint sticking up unless you want that look. Um, Cause you can kind of leave that on there. So let's see. Now that I have all these things peeled, will it focus? Will it focus? Maybe. For some reason, this is like, it doesn't want to focus up close. Yeah, I think we should go back to your phone. I know, the phone worked much better. Yeah. If I can figure out how to make the phone, like, do it in higher quality. The reason we switch is because the phone, the video the well, phone saved in stream was, like, really crappy quality. Right, well, I wonder, too, if that's why I'm having difficulty getting it to, like, just play. Oh, because it's like phone. higher quality yeah. than before? It might need to be lower quality in order to stream. Well, I, it has a little tester thing, and it said that the quality, like the our, the speed and everything was fine for the quality I set it to. Okay. But like, yeah, like it'll, it'll focus on this for a second, and then like, that's so why I took everything off here. I was like, if there's nothing in the background for it to focus on, will it focus on what I want it to? And the answer is... Apparently still no. <laughs> like it focuses for a split second and then it stops focusing. Yeah. It's really bizarre. I recall having a similar issue when I tried to use them before as well. These cameras? Yeah. I Whoa. was hoping that that wasn't. Okay, I went super close and now it actually focused. So that's good. So one of the ways I got around it was I had to get over the autofocus on the stupid thing because it yeah. keeps trying to autofocus on something. So you can see here where there's the base silver metallic and then the two tones of the red. It's kind of washing out the colors a little bit. but um, And then you also have like the tore up edges. But yeah, so you have... Oh. <laughs> Come on. 
Don't lose it now. We had it. We had it for a long time. Woo! Man. I mean, but there's a still of it, so there you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, when it's all done, I'll take a picture, too, to add to, like, the, the finished video. And I'll edit out all of the time spent doing this. <laughs> but, yeah, so... Oh, gosh. I wish it would just stay. <laughs> I'll stop pointing. But you can see, like, there's the multi-layers of... of color here 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 pretty much all over um and like the jaggedy edges and stuff so it it literally in this case gives depth because you have those you have at least in this case three layers of paint of your base so it, it actually looks like you know this got scratched but it didn't go through all the layers um hi shop completely Goblin. hello Good welcome <clears throat> so yeah so now i'm going to go over here to the salt chip spot and i've actually never done this but with hand brushing i've always done it with airbrushing when i've done salt chipping and that was always on like models and stuff so i don't know how this is going to work let's see it should it's just salt it should just come right off Oh, yeah, sitting down with a drink is, would be nice. Uh, maybe I'll do that after this. Do we have any wine left? Yeah, we do have some wine left. <laughs> I know. That, 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 Where's the precious alcohol? That, that wine has lasted for a while, but I, I don't think it's not going to last it's much longer at the, the rate we're going right now. No. Okay, so that's that all off. And let's see if I can get it to zoom in again for a decent amount of time instead of five seconds. I have no idea what's going on. Now I don't remember. I don't know what the trick was that I made it do it before. <laughs> Um, so you can see with the salt chipping over here on the side that it looks a lot more pitted and rough uh, compared to like the latex. So depending on what you want, like this would be good for, um, actually now I'm thinking about it. I'm going to take, oh, do I have any of that left over from the other day? I'm going to just take like, look, it's a throwback. You're a throwback. Wait. Mm. No. Okay. No. I'm going to take that and look. There's my sanding block again. And I'm going to make some rust. <laughs> that sounds like a drink of champions. Make a rust? No. Uh, what? What, what oh. shop goblin's drinking? <laughs> Pomegranate Italian soda with cheap blueberry vodka. Oh. That, does, <laughs> that sounds delicious right now. Honestly. So there, I made some I made some weathering powder with my Ooh, cheap powder. soft pastels. I like having a cheering section in the back. That's nice. <laughs> so I'm gonna just take this. Don't mind me, just peanut gallery. So you kind of get in here. Most of the metallic on that kind of got lost, but um, can do the same thing as last time with like a little bit of water with the powders. <laughs> <laughs> to add depth. He would tell you he is that old. <laughs> I I am the old man. That's me. Here I brought you a gift. It's your banana for scale. Okay. <laughs> Did you realize that my hands were this giant? <laughs> so banana for scale. Look at that. <laughs> I think of some other things I'd like to use this for scale against. <laughs> I thought this was a family show. What? I didn't. <laughs> it is. I was talking yeah. about like our cat or uh -huh. like how tall our kids are. What, what did you think I meant? I mean. <laughs> uh-huh. Now <clears throat> who's the problem, Heather? 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and it's me. I admit it. It's totally me. <laughs> okay, so with the... Uh, now let's see if the banana messes up the Zoom. Okay, will it, will, will it You can it? give me back the banana. <laughs> oh, no. It adds nice color contrast, too. Oh my gosh, look, it's actually staying in focus with the banana back there. <laughs> I brought you I'm leaving the banana there from now on. I brought you the magical banana. Oh, now it switched, the, it switched to the banana. <laughs> because okay. you talked about it. It felt like it I needed know. the The camera, light. like, wait. <laughs> if I say sponge, will the camera automatically focus on the sponge? No. Oh. But it is, it's staying focused on here. So you can see I did, I did some of the powder oh and stuff goodness. in here. Um. <laughs> Just with water, and then I'll put this in here. And so, oh yeah. The hammer. You get what looks like real rust because there's actually stuff on there. So I like rust, I like doing rust works really well with the um, the paint chipping because it actually looks more like the paint and the metal got kind of chewed up by the oxidation. Uh, especially And especially if you go back and put in some of the powders and stuff because then it actually looks like there's some rust chip chips in there rust chips flakes rust flakes flakes, flakes not chips because it disintegrates yeah. right yeah okay <clears throat> see so yes yeah, so there's a nice little rusty rusty hole compared to the regular ones <laughs> like oh, sorry, I'm sorry i'm sorry why did you have to laugh when i said that <laughs> because i can't help it oh, that's I'm, right i forgot I'm really, you're the I'm youngest sorry. of all of us <laughs> I'm really, I apologize to everyone <laughs> for my raunchiness. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was a good pull. Let's see. I'm trying so hard right now to be so clean in my brain. and it... I do need the banana. See? Yeah. It really does Telling help. You. <laughs> it's the magic banana. Come on, banana. <laughs> Do your mojo, banana. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, wow, that, that worked way better than I thought. So there's the, the two tones and back over. Wait, where did the rust one go? Oh, I turned it. <laughs> Wow, that looks way cooler than I thought it was going to look. <laughs> but you can see the the salt actually made the paint that I brushed on here kind of like bubbly and weird too, which actually adds to the effect of like the rust. Hey, cool. I accidentally sort of discovered a new technique within a technique. <laughs> hey, look. Unexpected result. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> I think Shop Goblin just called me old. <laughs> uh, the Welding Geek. No, I have not seen The Welding Geek. Um, I, I can imagine what it's about, though. I'm actually... So, welding is something that, like, fascinates me, but also scares the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> yeah, like... Because, <clears throat> obviously, there's a lot of stuff that was Sparks. actually... Not necessarily made out of metal, but like we had metal frames for a lot of things like we were building for the sets and whatnot for Prospect. And like, so like watching the guys who were doing the welding, just like, I, like it, I was like, that is, it, they'd be like, you know, and like they have pieces of metal that were like wel welded together, of course. Um, and just like, it's so cool, like how it works. But then the fact that you have to like ground yourself and just, I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, that is just, I feel like I would kill myself. Oh, goodness. Well, <laughs> like, that got no, dark. not, not like, <laughs> not like intentionally. Like, <laughs> it's scary enough of a process that like, it feels like something that I would, I mean, I hurt myself enough as it is with tools that don't have true. the potential to kill somebody if they're used improperly, like easily. Like, cut off a finger is one thing, but, like, electrocute yourself or whatever is a I, whole other thing. Right. Well, there's also hot metal. Right. Hot metal. Uh, you have to make sure you don't blind yourself. Like, there's so many ways it can go so wrong <laughs> so quickly, right? Burn yourself, electrocute yourself, blind yourself are all possible in one go. 
obliterate your senses. Right? Like, you screw it up and, like, you get all those things in one one shot. Oh, God. Potentially. But anyway, yeah. So, that's... <laughs> That's on a brighter note. Here's some weathering. <laughs> back to back to the topic at hand. Extreme close up. So yeah, so there's the rust and the and the pitted paint from the salt. Um, so you can see there's places where like I didn't coat it completely, um, or like I went over on top of the first paint on the second. So you get that that depth of layers so you have your metallic and then your two different coats of paint um, and like i said you get you'll get like these little flappy edges like this here and you can leave them or pick them off or whatever but um, it any of that stuff but so you can see this looks a lot more realistic than if i had just painted all of those things straight on top chad is lurking Dude. oh hi chad <laughs> so you can see again right so from from let's let's pretend this is 10 feet away if you're looking at a costume, I mean, they're pretty much identical, right? Like, you, you can't really tell. There's not a whole lot of difference from from far away. But when you get up close, you can see the difference in what paint on top of the, the you know, the metal paint on top looks like versus the multi-layered stuff over here. So, there you go. Adding depth to your weathering, part two. Rusty metal. Banana for scale. <laughs> magic banana. <laughs> Were you here for the magic banana, Chad? Were you lurking that back, that far back? Or... Magic banana. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a ghost or a milk carton with a face? <laughs> I, I can't know, tell. It... <laughs> it's a helmet, I think. Oh, it's a helmet? <laughs> yeah. Huh. It's like a little Viking helmet with horns and a brush. <laughs> like, wait. <laughs> it has. <Yeah. laughs> the banana of focus sounds We're like something a from Lego movie. At this point. <laughs> right? The banana of focus? The b banana. <laughs> yeah. The magic banana of focus. It its name keeps evolving. Well, like, the banana of focus seems like it should go just like. That's right in line with, like, the knife of. <laughs> <laughs> or the craggle or what is it the knife of what is it the, the it's knife exacto. of exact zero exact zero that's right <laughs> i was like i know it's a play on exacto but what could it possibly be <laughs> literally just change the one letter. craggle right <clears throat> oh oh man oh. that's that's the that's gonna be the final straw if we get that far <laughs> Two very blocky, very. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you see? Do you see what? Oh, Heather. Uh, sorry. What I was saying <laughs> is. It's late. <laughs> yeah, Ish. it is. It's been a long week. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's whew. Monday. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well. Isn't it? Wait. It, it is depends it on when you count the week starting. For me, the week started uh, this morning. Yeah, that's true. And it's been a long week. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I think uh, Chad's older than me. I'm gonna, I was going to say I might be the oldest, but now Chad's here. And I know he's a little bit older than me. <laughs> but what I was going to say is I think like the final straw, like the final line, if we get to the point where like the internet stops working, that's when it's all over. Oh, I will straight up bury people like, up to their necks in sand. <laughs> I'm actually one of the things I was I was like re, like part oh, of it like you, you would think uh, yeah I know he's full of shit for the um, 23rd time but like crime statistics right now are really weird because they they haven't changed much and like you would think either like even like uh, like people would be like I'm gonna stay home because I don't want to commit I'm not gonna go out period even if it's to like commit a crime and then but then on the other hand like people would be like there's nobody anywhere like there's way less people but there's also people like at home more like permanently so it's like harder to i guess if you're gonna like figure out um How if you're correlates? trying to if you're trying to like if you're staking out houses to like break into them and steal stuff with people at home all the time it would go down so it's interesting that there hasn't been really like any change in crime statistics at this point 
And so, like, the internet dying would be, I think, definitely one where, like, it would just go through the roof and people would just be like, it's it, uh. it's done and, like, there'd be crime everywhere. <laughs> it's only nine words. Yeah. Tell me about it. March 20th or oh. slightly earlier. Yeah. I, time doesn't even matter anymore. Uh, yeah. What is time? Well, it's I mean, the time of day matters only because we know that that way we know when the kids are going to wake up and go to sleep. <laughs> 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 but other than that, time just doesn't even... It's true. It's it's just, it's become this really amorphous thing. Like, I wake up pretty naturally unless the kids wake us up with some <clears throat> crazy shit. That's been different. I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to grab a different color of paint because I'm going to... Ah! Right. Just for fun, since I talked about this earlier. We'll do it on one of these other pieces, because I'm sure one of these is dry now. Hey, look. It came back to life. I'm going to use yellow so we can see what it looks like with two very different colors painted over top of each other instead of two similar colors. I think that'll actually help it stand out more, too, but it wasn't terrible. Whoa, that is way too much paint. <laughs> That's it. You're fired. I went with banana color. <laughs> banana. Look. Same, Magic banana. Same, focus. same. Um, so yeah, so the team. There would be riots, yes. Yes, there would. Oh, yeah, that, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think that'll be the, lo like, if we get to that point, that will be just where, like, all bets that's are off. fucking anarchy. Right? Like, I mean, that it might happen sooner than that, but that is definitely, like, the point of no return when society is just <laughs> it's given up yeah the last vestiges of hope for <laughs> civilization to return so yeah so let's say they decided that they wanted to change their colors or maybe this armor got taken from somebody who really liked red but the new person was like i hate red i'm gonna take you on i like yellow better Yellow is better. Yellow Man, is the color of the sun. I don't know what that even means. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us, folks. <laughs> we do appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, the, well, we're yellow. Oh. Oh, we haven't got to watch it yet. We watched Onward today. We didn't do any school today. Today was a... Half of our kids are on spring break right now, and the our other... first grader is in a college course. Ugh, yeah, it's re it's this the school stuff is just ugh. yeah. So they they're in different school districts, so they're on different schedules, and so <laughs> we're trying to like, how oh, do we have we like? It's one thing when the kids have to actually go to school to be like, well, you know, you guys have different schedules. Sometimes they are at home and you're at school, and vice versa. But when you're all at home, it's pretty much impossible to be like. Well, you're on spring break and you don't have to do anything, so you can go to your room and play video games. You need to sit here and do homework. Like, there's just, that's, that's not, not going to fly. Nope. Like, there's no way that any kid will ever see that as fair. So we're trying to kind of do, like, mostly spring break this week with, like, a couple of things. And by the um, way, if things aren't fair, it's like throwing a bone into a pit of rabid dogs. <laughs> It's very true. Yeah, they, um... By God, it better be fair. Yeah, wow. So, yeah, so we haven't got to try it out yet. We haven't seen the... We haven't watched the uh, other channel yet. The, um... The Star Wars <laughs> one. I can't remember the name of it, but I, I saved it. So we haven't, we got to, haven't got to check out either one of those yet, but we will be. But, yeah, today we decided we were going to have family movie day. Oh, gosh, we tried. It worked. It they worked. all watched the whole movie, they, which is actually... They all enjoyed it, despite themselves. As yeah. much as they claimed they didn't, they fucking loved it. They did. And, uh, yeah. It was a good movie. It, it was rough, though. Yeah. It was a rough ride. It was, uh, like... I don't know. There, there, there are very few times where, like... I don't, well, actually, I don't, maybe never, where I've seen a movie, like, been watching a movie and been like, holy shit, like, that literally came straight from my brain and my experience. Um, 
especially if it's something that like so the for the, those who have seen it um which looks like both of you have so when when he pulls out that cassette tape that says dad on it and puts it in like i that was the first time i like i already lost my shit and i'm like okay yeah okay um i didn't think like i knew yeah, me too i knew that this movie would like get to me but that moment was just like uh it it surprised me because that it hit there was something that early but i have a tape yeah smugglers room that's it i have a tape um of my dad from right before he died which was like almost 30 years ago um that is it's it's just one sentence and but i have this audio tape and it says dad's voice on it so like i mean it was like almost and i posted a picture of this on on facebook or whatever but it's like almost exactly the same tape and it was just like so that and that was like okay that's it i'm done yeah i that popped on the screen and i immediately my heart went out to you because i was like because you've seen that tape i've showed you that tape before it It just had to hit the nail on the head today right Right. like (laughs) Like it couldn't like i was like oh like i'm sure like i'll relate to this more than i'd like to but yeah that was just it was so exact well, and not only that, but my my our two older sons uh, really no, they they would deny it, but they really related to it as well, which is the whole brother thing. Yeah, it meant a lot. I made it a son to go with my banana. Oh gosh, we've regressed to elementary school. <laughs> there, are you happy now, Heather? <laughs> joy where you can that's all i'm gonna tell everybody (laughs) it's true especially now if i'm not laughing i'm crying i used i used to say that like people would ask like i i used to have less emotions outwardly anyway and people would like be like oh you're always like laughing at and like you never seem sad or anything and i always used to say it's easier to laugh than it is to cry. Um, but, like, I, I've never felt that more than now because literally, like, <laughs> sometimes it feels like curling up in a ball and crying for 24 hours is what should be happening. <laughs> so instead we make stupid banana <laughs> jokes. <laughs> you were so... <laughs> you were about to say the dreaded word. I almost did. <laughs> I don't know which dreaded word I was going to say. But... Magic banana focus. Magic banana focus. <laughs> okay, I don't know. This might be loud. This might not be. Pika noise. I'm trying to make this paint dry faster. We're all five inside. <laughs> Amen. We are all five inside. We are all what? Five. Oh yeah. Pretty much. <coughs> Ooh. Mm-hmm. <gasps> okay. Anyway. So I'm gonna take some of this off now. Oh. Oh yeah, that's good. Mmm, <laughs> do we? Well, the uh, still not um, all the way dry, but whatever. It's okay. Still get the general idea, I think. So there again. And, you know, how much you want to clean it up versus leave it messy changes the effect but there you go so there's some scratches and you get the red and the yellow side by side um, and like I said you can you can get rid of these flex flakes or leave them on for some added depth there you go oh come on come on focus there we go. So look, looks like a little baby rocket raccoon scratched my armor. Okay. 
Okay. I don't know. It's the first thing that came to mind about of what would scratch my heart. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. I'm, Apparently, I'm, I need sleep I'm, more than I realize. I got nothing. <laughs> my brain just went pop. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We did. We were up pretty late last night. Yeah. Two. I don't even know. Oh, yeah, that was a big one. Oh, yeah, and don't be afraid to make it as big as you want. It doesn't have to be little tiny things. You can get big old... Oh, that paint is not dry yet. (laughs) Big old hefty ones like that. But, yeah, so there's a... I mean, heck, you can let the paint not dry on purpose even if you wanted to. Get some cool added effects. Yeah, so that does that makes makes it a lot easier to see the the layers though with varied color. But yeah, so you can you can imagine with you know layering colors like this, you can get all different kinds of effects: high contrast, blendy, yeah, whatever. And you can do more than two layers too. So if something's really 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 old, I mean I know I've had to strip paint on things where there was you know fifty coats of paint. <laughs> So you could, in theory, do this in as many layers, as many colors as you want. I mean, I wouldn't go crazy since you're covering most of your paint that you put on here in future layers. But yeah, I mean, if something's old, I, doing three or four layers of this definitely wouldn't, wouldn't be out of place. And also, it's really fun to peel this stuff. Um, <clears throat> more layers of paint, though, might make it harder to... Peel. Oh yeah, Shop Goblin has good points. Yeah, I I uh, I think it was right before you joined. I mentioned using the Exacto knife or like sharp sharp point um, tweezers is also a good way to do it, um, which we have somewhere. We actually have a couple that are for building model kits, but we also have a couple of other ones too. I think one came with one of our three D printers. We have lots of those. I just don't know where any of them are. Um, but yeah, <laughs> tweezers would be good. That would also, those, don't we have, do we have any over out there? I don't the, think one so. One of the cups, they're all in the house. It's okay. I mean, this is mostly just for fun anyway. I wasn't even planning on doing this part. But then I decided I wanted to see what it would look like. I mean, I have a pit. Meh. It's okay. So, there you go. So you can imagine, you know, doing multiple colors or you can do stuff that's high contrasty, <laughs> go back and forth. No, yellow, no, red, no, yellow, no, red. Oh yeah, peel off. Ooh. Uh, it reminds me of like peeling white glue off your hand, you know, like when you were a kid. Or peeling a sunburn. <laughs> God, you had to say it. I did. I was like, if you say anything about skin. <laughs> well, I mean, I only briefly touched on that part. Well, I mean, I guess I did say the thing about peeling white glue off of your skin, but I don't think that's what you were, what you were meaning. So much as actually peeling skin. Yeah. That's Chad's wheelhouse, not mine. <laughs> is he still there? I don't know. Maybe. I think he is. <laughs> I can't tell I don't maybe I don't know if this is because of the app thing that we're using for the first time today, or if this is just how it always is, but I can't there's no like list anywhere that I can see of like Who's actually I had watching your own chat? I found it a second ago, and then I lost it again. Oh, so you actually can get a list of like yeah. everybody. That's cool. Oh. We have Avatar. We have Houndstooth Minis. Hello. We have a Weezer fan nine nine nine. Hello. We've got Chad, and we've got Shop Goblin right now. Yeah. Hi, folks. Oh, 
that's actually another thing you can do. I don't know if it'll work on this piece, but maybe. Um, if you paint the multiple layers, you can always, even, and even if you want, you know, if you want to add something later and you're like, ah, I didn't put the latex there, you can do it with an exacto. You just want to be careful you don't go through the base layer of paint. But, you know, literally you can just kind of scrape through the paint with a blade. Hiya. And because this paint is wet and thick, it's letting me actually do some pretty cool stuff with this. There you go. Let's see if you can see that one up close. Extreme close up. There's those ones. There you go. Um, so yeah, you can always go back in and add other stuff, but it's just easier to mess it up. And then if you, if you mess it up that way, it's a lot harder to, to fix it because then like if you were doing regular painting versus this, because it's really hard to go back in and re-simulate this if you take off too much. Really cool if you could see. It. Oh, there we go. Blech. Ew, that is so grody. Well, maybe I should uh, <clears throat> put a trigger warning. <laughs> if you if you hate gross peely skin looking stuff. <laughs> oh, it didn't come off all the way. Oh, yeah, there we go. Don't watch this. It <laughs> might make you sick. Tentacles. <laughs> tentacles is better than I was thinking like alien mucus so I'll, oh. tentacles is definitely better like you know like the slot like when the alien the eggs hatch like that gooey stuff that comes out of it Ooh. like that's all covered on yeah exactly <laughs> now he's putting Bob Ross in <laughs> come on come on oh, here we go <laughs> happy little paint peelings Oh gosh! Oh god, that the yellow, the yellow and red were maybe not the best choice for this, because <laughs> oh, it looks like skin and blood. Awesome! It really like at least on this. I don't know what the the, the color on the screen. I know is wrong because it doesn't look anything. Oh, like it's what's quite in my, yellow on my phone. It doesn't look anything like what's in my hand, but um, I don't know. So I don't know what it actually looks like for everybody else. I don't know if it's just the monitor on don't this know, thing. Over used weather to be. now, he says. <laughs> Don't go overboard. Slow your roll, Haas. Oh no, I'm going. I'm going all the way. Here we go. <laughs> no. This whole this whole thing's coming off. <laughs> oh, grody. Oh, I can't look. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean the thing with the thing with level of weathering is it's so subjective and so um just like whenever uh, like in the mandalorian forums especially because it, they're all about the weathering and like some people are like oh, i don't like any weathering i don't want any weathering at all and then some people are like more 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 <clears throat> and uh it's just it, every time somebody asks in a, like on a post about how does the weathering on my armor look, it's 50-50, you need more, you did too much. <laughs> um, <laughs> right? Just like, right. There's just like, you will never make everybody happy with the amount of weathering you do. Um, unless it's like, like I know like, like on some characters like Boba Fett or whatever, like you have to have like the exact correct weathering pattern. Like if you're trying, but like for just like, hey, this is my my Mando or my armor. Like, how do you think my weathering looks? It there, it's always like split down the middle. Um. But yeah, and like personally, I like less weathering on the my, like on my Mando. It's gonna be pretty clean. Um. But even then, it, uh, like it'll have some weathering because of depth. Um, it's a new, it's a new, going to be a new drinking game. Take a shot every time Will says depth God on a tutorial. It. Um, it's called, 
Oh, I'm, I, I can't even do don't, a bad... Don't, I was thinking of a bad... I was trying to come up with a... So sometimes you just have to like run at it and then a dad joke pops out. And sometimes you just run into the wall. It's a really good analogy, by the way. Sometimes you just have to go running at it. Right. <laughs> like I, I had a vague idea of where I wanted it to end. <laughs> But I wasn't it, sure it, exactly it where, so I was like, "I'm gonna go, <laughs> and then maybe it'll, I'll, I'll find it when I get there." But I got there, and I just, I went right off the cliff. I changed the analogy instead of running into a wall. Um, it's like an onward where he does the spell and then almost falls off the cliff. Like right. you have to believe it's gonna be there. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't believe in that joke enough, so, so it wasn't there when I got to the cliff. And I fell and took the analogy way too far. So there we go. So here's here's the multicolor finished one. Paint chips. And then here's the two-tone red one. But same thing. Let's see though. Shop Goblin has a very good the layers point. Layers and things. Again. love it for some reason that makes me think of gears of war i don't know why that's what came into my head oh if i do it really close it looks like a crater of mars <laughs> i don't think i can do it that close it won't focus will it let's see oh oh my gosh this will actually focus so much closer than i thought actually when you hit that paint with the heat gun it did this no i didn't this isn't the heat gun one this is from the salt no, no, sorry. Oh. I'm, my video what? is catching up. I'm not oh. even actually looking oh, you're at what looking, you're doing. You're about this no, one? the yellow one, yeah. Oh, yeah, it cracked the paint. It, like, crackled the paint a little bit, which yeah. adds to it, yeah. I think. That's a cool, it, yeah, it's added weathering. Because, yeah, it dried the, the paint too fast, but that's okay. That looks cool. Raw McDonald Mando armor. Christ, someone's going to do that now. I'm sure it exists. There's like the fast food Avengers. Um, oh, like for me, there's a limit. We're going beyond. Like if there's more weathering than our own paint job. Yeah, like some of the Mandos, like I'll, I see them. And like, again, there's, you know, there's a lot of personal preference in there. But some of them I'll see them. It's like, that's so weathered. Like if, like if you think about, with the Mandos especially, like if you think about the Mandalorians, right? They're, the, they're these warriors like, they would take care of their shit. Yeah. Their armor is their only kit. Like, right? That's, like, the their armor... Like, that's why you see, like, in The Mandalorian, he's, like... His goal is to get that to look as good as he can. Like, he right. wants to look shiny and clean and new. Like, there's... Again, there's that little level... That, that really low level of weathering that makes it look realistic instead of fake. But, like, other than that, like... Cared it's, for... Yeah, exactly. So like with the with the weathering on the Mandalorian it's it's like if you go that far, what you're telling me is that your Mando doesn't give a shit about his gear. And like so he's is he really a Mando if like they, they care that little about their only possession? I mean, the argument could be made that their kits are meant to be to represent immediately coming out of some kind of well, but everybody like, does the effects like this, right? Situation. Where you have the multiple. So there's. So the thing is, right? If you have, like, everyone does, you know, like multi-level painting or whatever, or tries to get that look, which means that it, again, right? It was painted one color, and then someone took the time to repaint it or right. touch it up, you're and then make it like, look pretty again. so you're not gonna like only touch up a little bit, and then it gets more worn down, and only touch up a little, like you know, it doesn't make sense. If it's it's one thing if it was just like just all beat to hell, but the the whole reason you have multiple layers of paint is because it's been repainted. So if you have the that like multiple layered of paint effect look, but it's only on like this one tiny spot of your armor, it's like what, what how did you get that? But like nothing like unless there's like huge damage or something to go with it. Um, I, I I'm terrible with names. But I did see a full Illumina Mando build, so it probably was the Welding Geeks that I saw and just didn't put a name on it because I am so bad at names. 
Like, especially if it's somebody that, like, something I just see randomly versus somebody that I follow or that I actually know. But, yeah. It's been Weather. an hour. It's been, oh, it's been an hour, more than an hour. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, you know, have people hanging out. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, it's just getting late. We have, we have sort of school tomorrow. <laughs> really? Really what? Do we really have sort of school tomorrow? What are we doing tomorrow? Yeah, we, we just talked about this. You've met me, right? <laughs> so. well, we just talked about this with everybody. <laughs> we were talking <Dude>. about... <laughs> right, yeah, that, yeah, that's exactly right. Like, there's damage there, so that's why that's a, a much deeper level. Although you would think, like, at some point he would get the helmet, the dent out of his helmet, but... You know, whatever. Um, but yeah, so, but like, it's, the rest of the kit isn't nearly that beat up <clears throat> compared to a lot of the other ones. And he's been like out in the desert on Tatooine and stuff. And Yeah. Oh, oh sweet. Cool. I'd like to see that. Yeah. I saw somebody the other day um, was working on, what are they doing? They're doing like an all metal mandalorian or just like their own custom mando was, they were doing like all metal um and she uh she used our our template for the pauldrons is like Hard. the base shape for like her metal pauldrons for her man it's like dang that's cool <laughs> it's always cool seeing like people use stuff in ways that we didn't maybe necessarily intend or think yeah I guess it's his time. Yeah, I think so. I'm tired. Me too. I'm gonna I'm gonna show them my hat that I'm wearing tonight though, because I found it. Yeah. For the people who were here last time. <laughs> here we go. Let's see, is this gonna work? We're we're uh, building upon our mythos here. Oh, I'm upside down now. I'm but, upside down now. Well, you know what though? I can oh, can I? Oh, I don't think I can since it's already going. Like, I could flip it around upside down, but I don't think it'll work because I, don't, yeah, I can't get back to that screen while it's actually live. I don't know. I'm still looking at the pad on the table. Well, as long as it didn't get frozen, like, on my junk on midway up or something. That okay, well, you know, I wouldn't mind that, but everybody else might. <laughs> focus! Focus! You can yeah. do it! See hacks! Okay, it's not going to focus. Anyway, that's the hat I was looking for the other day. And I found it. Thank you. We love our, our logo, too. We do. We love foxes. And red pandas. <laughs> there it goes. All kinds of animals. You can too. get these in our shop. You can order yeah, them. Yeah, they're pretty sweet hats. They're like one of the most comfortable beanies I've ever owned, frankly. Yeah. Oh, and you have and the my, sweatshirt oh, on. Oh, yeah, I have my sweatshirt oh, on. But we just I, added look, these. I look like crud, We just added these to the shop. So whatever. Oh, you're upside down now, too. Ah! Oh. There you go. It's a hoodie. And yeah. It's so comfortable. It's like the most comfortable hoodie ever. I love this. Hoodie. And we don't charge it like they're not very expensive compared to some other stuff. Anyway, good night, everybody. We'll see you in a few days. We'll probably do it again. Yeah. Say goodbye. Don't, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. Bye bye. No. Ah, it didn't do it again. I hit end and it kept going just like last time. Now it's going to be stupid. <laughs> this is my shock face. <laughs> okay, goodbye for real. <laughs>